what's up you guys it's me Sonne and I'm back with another beauty video and today I'm doing a one palette three look video three look wow that's definitely normal English yeah one palette three looks <laughs> for Christmas my boyfriend got me the Colourpop the child palette this is the absolute cutest thing I've ever seen in my life look at it I also just finished the last episode of The Mandalorian yesterday and I I literally bawled, I cried my eyes out. So um, yeah, I am in the mood to play with this palette. So I decided this time I'm not doing like a review kind of video like I usually do. I thought I'd just make a few looks with this palette and then just show you how I make the looks, give you some inspiration because I did recognize that this is a fairly popular palette so there's probably a few of you out there looking for some inspiration or something to do with this palette maybe so this is the adorable little palette it is literally the cutest cover art ever and on the inside it also has like this adorable little mirror as you can see it has like a row of more warm toned neutral shades some more green like blue green shades and some actual green shades i really like how it has those three different rows if you want to do three different looks you can literally take each row and work with that row and just do something with that or you can just mix it up and use every color in the book of course i put a picture up here with the swatches because i already swatched them and i don't feel like doing it now because then i'll just make a mess up myself here are the swatches they are very very cute this is the palette we're gonna work with today and just gonna get closer to you and i'm gonna show you the first look i'm gonna make like this i feel like if i work like this y'all can actually see what i'm doing i already did all of my base makeup i don't know if you can tell but this way i can just jump into the palette immediately i'm just gonna first apply some like base on my eyes to make the colors pop more i've really been enjoying using this catrice true skin concealer as an eye shadow base actually it works really well almost better than the eyeshadow bases that i do have spread that out and i feel like for the first look i want to do like not a bit different but when you look at this palette of course you notice all the the greens you know so i thought for the first look i'm gonna bust out the neutral shades and see what those do i'm gonna jump into this lighter neutral shade which is just like tatarine and i'm just gonna blend that all over my crease as you can see this one sticks really well to the wet base that i applied and then we can just blend this out a bit i want to create like a halo shape which isn't my strong suit so this is definitely also just practice for me okay now i've blended out that shade in like all around my crease i am going into that really dark brown shade which is called droid protocol and I'm just putting it slightly on the tip of my brush and moving that into the inner and outer corner. And I'm blending that just into that corner and moving it a tiny bit into the crease. But it mostly stays in the corners. To make sure that this blended, I am just going into that light brown shade again, making sure that especially the crease is blended out very well. I'm just gonna stay in those matte shades because um, I'm moving the lighter shade underneath my eyes as well and I'm creating kind of the same effect underneath my eyes as well as on top of my eyes. As you can see I've applied both brown shades. So now we're gonna apply the shimmers to this look. I'm going in with of course this absolute golden shade which is called the force. This is a very very soft crumbly shade and i'm applying that to exactly the center of my eye to make the look a bit more complete and finished i'm going to add a dark brown eye pencil to my waterline partly like except for the middle okay it's a finish of this look oh gosh no so sad i'm going in with this light shade just grabbing a tiny bit with my finger and applying that 
to the inner corner. Okay, so all the eyeshadows in place now. So I'm just going to do some lips and lashes and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with look one and I must say that I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Like, it's nice and smoky and extra. I put on these dramatic giant lashes. This is more of like the neutral side of the palette. Um, the next few looks I will definitely go into the green side of the palette because of course that's what this palette is all about I'm wearing by Libby Beauty lashes by the way. These are in the style Erin Very very long and fluffy very cute. That was look one and I'm very happy with how this turned out and Let's go to look two now Well, let's get into look number two as you can see I have only done my eyebrows I'll do my base later. I'll just zoom you in again and then we'll get started. I'm again using the Catrice True Skin Concealer as an eyeshadow base. So I think this time I'm using the middle row. And I'm grabbing a quite small brush going into the darkest green shade, which is Float Your Crib. And we'll just stamp that onto the outer corner. And we'll blend it a bit into the crease and moving outward into a wing shape. Now I kind of laid down that dark base with this shade. I'm going in with the minty shade which is called baby face and I'm taking a very fluffy crease brush and I am blending that on top of it going outward. So I'm also really bending the shade inwards from the outer corner and as you can see because I used the darker shade as a base it just leaves a tiny bit of depth and not too much but there is depth in like the crease in the outer corner going in with the dark shade just a tiny bit more just to deepen this up okay so i'm gonna use the same concealer used earlier to do like a quick half cut crease so now i'm gonna apply that silver shade on top of this cut crease so that's right hand mendo just using a flat brush for this so this silver isn't really like a true silver it has a bit of a golden shimmer to it so it's more of like a white like white gold kind of vibe okay so i applied the shimmer on both sides it actually applies like really well with a flat brush i think it's eyeliner time i'm keeping it simple i'm just going for a nice wing in the same direction as the winked out eyeshadow is already going. Okay, so I think I can't really get any more fallout anymore. I think I'm just gonna apply my base makeup and such. So uh, I'll be back when that's done. <laughs> and then we can finish up the eye look. Okay, I finished most of my base. I put on a plumping lipstick in the meantime as well. So I'm going back in with the palette, of course. And I'm grabbing a very thin, small fluffy brush and going into the mint shade and just dragging that underneath my eyes as well and then i feel like i just want to add one last little thing but i'm not sure if it's gonna mess everything up or not okay so the thing is when i started this look i imagined this being a lot more silver and then adding a silver line like right on the edge of the cut crease we created so yeah i thought of using like the gold or the silver i was thinking of doing the silver but right now, looking at how goldish this thingy is looking, maybe I should go for the gold. I'm hoping this looks good because like this eyeshadow just is so extremely in between gold and silver. I feel like this is just way too gold. I'm gonna try the silver as well. Yeah, I don't like I don't like either of these. We're just gonna skip that part. <laughs> we may just apply some rhinestones or something. I like rhinestones, maybe we'll do that. So first I'll finish this look before applying rhinestones and lashes and such. I'm again going in with that precious cargo shade, the lovely inner corner shade. I think I'm just going into these because these are my tiniest rhinestones. So those will probably look the nicest. Okay, so I have found a bunch of rhinestones that also look like they kind of fall in between gold and silver just like these shimmers are how i apply these is i just take my eyelash glue and since this time i'm using very very small rhinestones i'm grabbing a very thin brush 
have a tiny bit of that eyelash glue, place it in the spot where I want the rhinestone to be, and then just stick it on there, and then I'll do that all along here. Okay, as you can see, I have applied all the rhinestones. Look at them, they look so cute. I think it's time to put on some lashes and finish up this look. Okay, so this is look two. It turned out very cute, I think, with the little rhinestones. So yeah, I don't know, like this minty shade is really cute. I am really happy with it. So yeah, this is the second look and I think it's time to move on to the third look now. Let's get on to the third look. I'm back to do the third look. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and my eyeshadow base. It's again the Catrice True Skin Concealer. So we'll just jump into the Chow palette for the third time in a row. I'm sorry if the lighting is a bit odd, there's a lot of light coming through the window right now. Today I wanted to dive more into this green row and just combine it a bit with the other shades. So I'll be grabbing my very fluffy brush. I'm just gonna apply this light brown shade again, just like a Tatooine, just in the crease as kind of like a transition shade. So just blending that in here. So now I work that in as a transition shade, kinda. I'm still using the same brush and I'm going into this green shade over here, which is Little Frog. I know it has a glitter kind of in it, so that's something you have to look out with. I like this green. It's more of like an army green. And the shimmers actually don't stand out that much, only if you're really up close. Okay, now I'm going in with this shimmery green, just such a fine shade by the way. And I'm just applying that with my finger. Now I'm going in with the darkest green shade, which we used yesterday, which is Float Your Crib. So I'm going in with an eyeliner brush and then just lining my eye with it. I, I don't think this is working as well as I wanted to, so I might have to do this differently. I'm bring a thin brush and some concealer and I'm first gonna line my eyes with concealer. I'm going back in with the eyeliner brush and the dark shade and I'm just gonna stamp that on there. So as you can see this isn't really a nice liner moment. I'm just gonna clean this up so it looks nice again. Oh, and I'm just cleaning up this line. Okay, I think that eyeliner moment is done, so I'm just gonna do the rest of my base makeup and then I'll be back to finish the eye. Okay, so I did my base makeup, most of it. Okay, to kind of finish the look, I'm just going in with the light brown shade and just applying that slightly underneath my eye, just to give it a bit of a shade. And then of course I have to go in with the inner corner highlight, because Gosh, do I love this shade, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna apply some lashes and lips and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So yeah, this is look number three out of the three. I'm um, doing three today, I'm not gonna do any more. But yeah, this is the more subtle look out of the three. I really enjoy this, I'm going out like this. I feel like it's just a nice look. I like this palette, even though it's still a green palette. I managed to get three very different looks out of it and I'm actually quite happy with it. Like it shows that it's even though it's a green palette, it's still a very versatile palette. And I love all the gold shimmery shimmers in there. So yeah, that was look number three using the Chow palette by Colourpop. I hope you enjoyed and maybe got some inspiration for looks of your own using this palette. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog and all my socials are linked down below so you can check that out as well. And that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles! Look how pretty! I look pretty today!